Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading. And this will be for February 22nd through March 1st. Hope you guys had a great week. Uh, my week was good. Went and saw my daughter. Um, and sent a little bit of time up there in Rochester. Um, and we went to my favorite restaurant, Sinbad's. Uh, I love that restaurant. I love Greek food. Um, their food is amazing up there. And then uh, we went to the Mad Hatter for uh, a brunch, which is Disney themed. Or not Disney. It is uh, Alice in Wonderland themed. Uh, so that was really fun. And then we went shopping. We went to uh, a cat cafe. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a cat cafe, but you can go and have coffee. And uh, there's like scones and baked goods and things like that. And uh, you can watch the kittens uh, or cats uh, and you can spend some time in there with them. So we went there. We didn't go in and see the cats, but we watched them from the window. And uh, all the cats in there are adaptable. So it was really, really nice. Uh, I want Now I want to open a cat cafe. I did not bring home a cat. Um, but they were adorable and it, I just think that is such a great idea, you know, to have a cat, a cat cafe. So, so we had fun, had a great, great time. So, all right, let's give these some, three more shuffles and we'll get on with your reading. Let's see what's going on with, with my Leo's. One more. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that Leo needs to know for the week of the 22nd through March 1st, please? All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. <clears throat> the first cards I'm going to read are your inner influences. They are the cards that are closest to you now. <clears throat> they are the cards that um, are the closest coming in or they're already here. First card I have is the lilies, seven of clubs. That is a happy, happy life, a happy family life. Um, you are surrounded by, uh, you know, happiness the, your, everything looks good, uh, family wise. And so everything is peaceful there. I have the money safe, uh, money will be coming into you. You have riches coming in. This is the three of diamonds. Um, so money will be coming in, which is great, 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 great. I have the birds and that is, um, a fierce enemy. This is the Ace of Diamonds. This is somebody that doesn't want to see you succeed. Um, it is uh, somebody that may be far away. Um, it's not somebody that is uh, directly related to you. Um, it is somebody that um, may be out of town that you know, or it may be an acquaintance of some sort. Next card, Three of Hearts is the sun. That's happiness. Happy, happiness and popularity. People love you. People, um, you're popular. People enjoy your company. Uh, the 10 of spades is the rods. And that is a family quarrels. Okay. And I feel as if it has something to do with the enemy. Um, I feel as if it may be uh, somebody in your family that lives at a distance from you. Okay. The next card is the nine of diamonds. And that's the heart. That's great joy. Great joy is near. Love is near. That is wonderful. 
Um, your friends are true friends, okay? We have the dog. Um, your friends that you have are true friends. They are uh, ones to keep. They are like dog's best friends. Um, they are uh, ones that you can uh, expect to take care of you, expect to watch out for you, and they are wonderful to have around. They're four of diamonds. The last card I have um, in your inner uh, is the rider. You have some good news that's going to be coming in, a sure sign. Um, and it's going to be coming in fast because we have the rider here. That is the king of diamonds. Or the Jack of Diamonds, I'm sorry. Um, and that is uh, good things are coming. To, and it's going to be happening fast. So that is awesome. The next cards I'm going to read are your inner in, or outer influences. These are the cards that are out there. Okay, they're out there. They're waiting to come into you. Um, so they may be coming in um, soon. I have the order card and this, the Jack of clubs. And that is, you're going to be recognized for the labor, your work. Um, you're going to be recognized for the labor that you put into things in, in business. So that is great. We have the six of clubs. That's the lightning. And that is surprises are going to be coming in and they're going to be happening fast. They're going to be coming in quickly. Four of clubs is the key. You guys have the ability to uh, obtain success. Um, success is here. It's coming in. You just need to unlock it, okay? You need to put the key in the keyhole, turn the key, open the door, and the good things are going to come into you. But you need to put in a little bit of work. I have the wrap ears is next. And that is an assault or a threat that may be coming in and it's going to be coming in sooner or later. This is the ace of spades. Um, and how I look at that card is, um, say maybe you're driving down the road and somebody cuts you off, you know, um, an aggressive driver that may try to cut you off. Um, something along that aspects, um, is how I look at that card. Okay, so I have the Queen of Hearts is next, and that's the ring. You um, you have riches and a happy marriage. Um, riches are here. They're happy. You have a happy marriage. Things are look great marriage wise, um, and that's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. You're married uh, to your best friend. You know, the king of clubs is the bear success. That's the success card. That's motherly success. That's wonderful success. That's um, caring, you know, success. Uh, all that good, good stuff is there coming into you. The five of diamonds. That is the anchor and that is success. You guys have a lot of success. This is success in business and in love. But stay where you're at, guys. Don't leave um, because the success is going to be coming in now into where you're at. So don't be changing jobs or a different relationship, things like that. Just stay where you're at and things are going to come. The next card I have is the fish. And that's another rich card. You're going to gain some money through stock. So if you're not in the stock market, I would suggest that you put some money into the stock market. Um, this is also a card of uh, emotions. So you may be a little bit on the emotional side this week. It can also mean a water sign. So it can mean a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Okay. So those that is your main reading, guys. That is awesome. All right. So let's um, talk to the universe and ask them if there's any extra input that they would like to put into that reading. Universe, is there anything that you would like to add to that reading or uh, signify that reading for us? You know, give us a, a little bit more insight into that reading, please, for my Leos. Do two more shuffles. One.
All right. So they want you to um, take the time for yourself. Take that time and spend some time in solitude so that you can uh, work on your inner self. Um, we also have breath for forest. So take time, spend it out in nature maybe. Um, take that time um, to just, uh, you know, forget about things. You know, just relax, breathe, and uh, think about the things that you may need to change or the things that you may need to work on because I have shape-shifting next, and that's the clouds. So you want to create your destiny. You know, you want to, uh, you know, take that time in, in your inner self and uh, realize the things that you want, right? And then take the time to work on how you're going to get those and manifest those. And then we want they want you to do the movement, right? The movement of the, you know, move towards those goals that you have and those dreams that you have, okay? Um, you know, talk to universe, tell them what you want. It may not always come out the exact same way that you think it's going to. Um, the universe and angels, guides, spirits, God, um, they all know what you need. Um, it may not manifest the way that you think it's going to manifest, but it will be coming. So I want to talk to Spirit. Spirit, give me a card that my Leos need to hear. A card that they need to, to hear for the week of the 22nd through the 1st, please. Dearest you, pump up the music. Bang the drums, get on up and start that hustle towards your goals and dreams. There are times to be still, but this is not one of them. Now is the time to make that first move. Say yes to life. Pick up the phone, make the, that decision and take that one step towards the gods or us. Expect a cascade of changes, good news and opportunities to show up as if by magic. Well, you know it's really spirit in all of us moving things around for your benefit. The point is that we are saying go for it. Take positive action towards your dreams, even if the outcome isn't an exact fit for your agenda. It will all be orchestrated by spirit and arrive in divine appropriate timing. Don't you just love how it all works? We love you so, so much. So there's your card. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, guys. So it's basically like the reading says, right? You know, manifest those things. Um, Do it. You know, don't sit still. You know, bang on those drums. Get, get things going, you know, and things are going to happen. You know, like I said, they're not going to manifest the way that you always think they're going to manifest, but they're there for you. It's coming in. Good things are coming, guys. All right, I want to pull one last card for you guys. And this is a reflection card for the week. This is a card you can reflect on for the week. My income is constantly increasing. My income is constantly increasing, right? So that's your mantra for the week. Um, it says on the back, I begin now, today, to open myself to ever-increasing prosperity. My income is constantly increasing. So guys, that's your mantra for the week. Uh, I hope you like this reading, guys. Um, remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing week. And until next time, bye guys.